Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultra Tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Find Nearest tool in Altrix from the Spatial Tool category. This tool allows us to identify the shortest distance between spatial objects in one file and the objects in a second file. Lots of great use cases for this tool. Similar to Spatial Match, it has two inputs, a T for target and a U for a universe. We're going to be using the example canvas. If you'd like to follow along from the Spatial Tools category, we're using the Find Nearest tool. So opening the link to the example canvas. Example number one has us using two input connections. For the target input, we'll use a data set with 24 store locations. And for the universe input, we'll be looking at 190 competitor points all across the state of Colorado. So using a browse tool, we can visualize these points on the map. And doing a rudimentary analysis, we can see that uh, some points are close to the other points from the other input. But the Find Nearest tool will actually calculate the distance, and we can indicate how many matches we want to output. So in the first example, we'll just look at the one competitor point that's closest to each individual store location. So from the target side, there's only one spatial object field, the store point. And from the universe side, the competitor locations will be using the spatial object field. There is an embedded select tool, very similar to the spatial match tool. The default has us finding one nearest point at a maximum distance of 20 miles. So across these examples, we'll play with these settings a little bit and see what kind of outputs we get. But for the first example, we'll go ahead and hit the run button. And for each of our 24 records, one for each store location, we have matched one competitor that's within 20 miles. So on the output side, we've outputted the spatial object point for that competitor location, the name of each competitor, in addition to the distance between the two spatial objects and the cardinal direction. So now we have red points and green points on the map. So using the Browse tool in Altrix, we can visualize these locations. You'll notice that the U, or Universe, input for the Find Nearest tool is gray, indicating that it's an optional connector. So for example number two, we'll use the Universe file connection. And we need to point to a file on our PC. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the file path from the universe file we used in example one. So we'll be calling on the exact same data set. We just don't need to have an input data tool on the canvas in order to reference it. So we're making sure that we pick our spatial object field from the dropdown. The find nearest tool using the just the default settings at first, again, is gonna find the one competitor location that's closest to each of our 24 stores but we can easily identify the three competitor locations that are closest to each store. So you'll see that our record count jumped by a factor of three. Now for each of our red store points, we have three green competitor locations and they're ranked based on their distance from each store point. The U, or unmatched output anchor, is still showing zero records because all of our store points have at least one match that's within 20 miles. If we iterate on our configuration panel and indicate we only want to see competitors within one mile, the record counts change quite a bit. We only have five store locations with a competitor within one mile. And there are 19 store locations that are unmatched based on that criteria. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, 
managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.